very dark through it there is what's been coming in lately. And you see the next one over where you see the light brown colored dirt. That's the dirt that's been here for some time. And you can see they had dug into it to take some of it to cover other dirt. And what I've been doing is, is steadily eroding when it rains and there's wind and everything. I've been keeping cap, you know, uh, pictures of that. But they're capping that place with this dirt. And when dirt is that color, there's something wrong with it. It's, it's mulch or something else. It's not ready to do it, and it's got to have something in it. And they're using it. And this surface isn't supposed to be over 12 foot high. As you can see, those piles over there are 25 feet high easily. The next pile is kind of a grayish color. <laughs> I'm not sure where that comes from. But that was put in here after. But the light colored dirt, that stuff they had put on the top of that, the dirt that came from Morton School. And Morton School definitely had a lot of asbestos and stuff in it. So uh, we don't know what's what with that, and we don't know if anybody's telling the truth about it. But that's the problem with this. Nobody has kept anything uh, the right way and kept track of it. But Laura Rogers did talk to one of the drivers that brought the stuff from Morton School, and he did say there are two different piles down there. One is contaminated and one is not. And he said the stuff that we're bringing here was the contaminated stuff. And it's on the top of that pile, and I've been using it to cover other stuff. The pile over here, the low pile with the grass on it, that's the stuff that came out of the dump when they dug the first hole to bury the stuff in the Navy base. That is part of the dump, and it has stuff in it that was put in the dump years ago, like a different kind of... Uh, uh, tiles and metal containers and everything else, and they actually capped that whole area that they had dug with the ground, the, the, the capped it with the stuff that came out of the ground and used it for the clear cap. It's all up the turf. But at least they're down here cleaning the street and washing the trucks off, which when this all began, I told them at a town hall meeting that according to hazmat regulations, anything that comes in with material that is not suitable for a residential area, the truck's supposed to be completely covered and buttoned down all the way around, and before it leaves the property, it needs to be completely washed out and washed off. And now, for the first time after three and a half years, it's starting to do that. 